In this video, we're going to be setting up Auto Mapper. And what we're trying to do is if we go back to Postman, we're currently returning the entire user object from the database. And we're doing that with both of these APIs. Like when we do an update, we just grab the object from the database, the entire user, and we return it. But there's a lot of stuff here we don't want, like this email confirm, the password hash. We don't need all that stuff to be returned. What we'll do is we'll create our own user object. This object is what we're going to return. And what we're going to do is we're going to map this object to our, our new object that we're creating. And we're going to use AutoMapper to help us do that. So let's go back to here. And down in the description, I'll have a bunch of uh, links. And the first one here is the NuGet package that you can install. And we'll install that in a second. The second link is the documentation on AutoMapper. If we go to the browser, like here's the NuGet package that we're going to install. And then here is really good documentation on how to configure it, different things you could do with it. Like all we're going to do, do basically is just configure it. Uh, we're not going to get too in depth in it, but uh, this is really good documentation. I just want to show you this link. Let's get this installing a while. So if we go back here, copy this and then uh, go into our project. Side of our API is where we'll install it. So paste, install. And while this is installing, let's set up our next step. And our next step is we need to create a new profile class. And they show us in the documentation how to do that. If we go back to the browser and check out the second link, and right here, we're going to create a new profile instance. And right here, they show us how to do that. You can call this anything you want. I'll call it something like mapper profile. And then we're going to have it derived from profile. And this is auto mapper. And then within this constructor is where we can map out our objects. And we'll do something like this. Let's go back into our project and create a profile class. Inside of the API, let's create a brand new folder and we'll call it helpers. And we'll pull our like helper classes in there. So helpers. And then in here, we'll create our first class and that's going to be our profile. And you call this anything you want. I'll call it something like mapper profiles or something like that. And like it says in the documentation, we'll create a constructor and then copy this, paste it in here, and we get rid of the parameters. And then also we want this to derive from, if we go back here, this right here, the profile. So copy this and jump back in here and throw that right here. And we want to pull this in from AutoMapper. Uh, from right there okay so now here is where we could do all our mapping and you use the create math map like it says in the documentation and then we're going to map from the user and then we haven't created this uh, class yet but we'll create it in a second and we're going to map it to a class called i guess we'll call it user actually so user i was going to call it employer but we probably could use this across employees and employers and we could always change it if we want want to in the future, but I'll just call it user for now. So it's going to be view model. We'll pull this in from our data access layer, the user, and we're pulling that in from here, the user. And then let's create this, our user view model, copy, and uh, open up the view models folder. We'll actually create it in there. So our new class, paste. Let's set up all our properties. Like we'll want the ID, so property, and it's gonna be a string, and the ID, like we're returning this within the token, but we'll, we'll go ahead and return it here as well. And then also the username. And then also the email. The company name. company name and then last but not least the image now we probably will be adding on to this in the future but uh, this will get us started and actually let's copy and paste that and that is the profile image URL copy and jump back here all right so we we created our view model that we're going to be mapping everything to and we can close this down and pull this in Okay, so we just set up our profile class, save this, 
and we won't be back in here for a while so shut this down and now let's go and set up our startup class if we go back here and like everything else we need to tell our startup class about it we need to configure our startup class to use automapper let's open up our startup class and open this up and from within our configure services we'll add in automapper and i'll just throw this towards the bottom it doesn't matter where you put it but i'll put it right here i guess and services add mapper and we'll need to pull this in from auto mapper from uh, auto mapper right there and then from within here is uh, where we'll set up our assembly so type of and then here we'll put in our profile open this up and it's called mapper profiles files and we'll pull this in We'll pull that in from our helpers folder. Okay, so we just set up our startup class, save this, and we can shut this down or we won't be back in here. Now we're ready to work inside of our employer's controller. And the first thing we'll do is we'll inject AutoMapper into the constructor. And we'll start on the update API first. Let's open up our employer's controller. And the first thing we need to do to use this is inject it. And I'll just add it on to right here. I'll close this down so we can see better. And I'll add it right on to the end here. I'll call it mapper or something like that. So I mapper. And it's going to be called mapper. And I'll bring this in from auto mapper. And then let's initialize this here. And like usual, I'll change this over. And I'll make sure to change this as well okay so now we'll be able to use auto mapper and down here in, the, in our update we're returning the entire user uh, from the database so i'll add a, another variable right here and call it something like employer to return return equals and then we call mapper and then mapper has a a method called map and we'll pass in our user view model. So user view model. Oh, there it is. Great. And then pass in the updated employer. Okay. And that's all we really need to do there. Copy this. And paste it here. Before we test this, let's add this also to our create. So copy this. And if we go up here or actually our login we don't need to do it in our crate because we're not passing that back uh, let's go open up our other controller and we can save this shut this down open up our auth controller and it's within our login we're returning this user we want to map this out as well i'll close this down so we can see better and then we also need to bring it in up here so Okay, so now we could use it in our login. And like we did in the other API, I'll just do it right below here actually. So if everything's good, then we'll map it out. So paste it here. And here we're calling it user. And this is what we'll pass back instead. Copy this and replace this right here. Okay, I think we're ready for testing. Save this, reboot the server. And let's check this out in Postman. Let's start off by testing our update API. Now this user ID should be good and also the token because I logged in not too long ago. So hit send and we should only get back a couple of objects instead of the whole list like we got before. Okay, this is great. And then let's check out our login, make sure this is working. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. Now in the next video, we'll actually display this image in the header. We'll go back to finishing that off. So I'll see you then.